Hi everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we keep making videos on different software and on different topics related to civil engineering field. So, I have already made a lot of videos on 3D modeling in SketchUp. But today, I am going to start with a very easy method of modeling the staircase. Okay, so I have already uh, shown the conventional method of modeling the staircase in SketchUp, but today I am just going to use an extension. So without wasting the time, let's start. So over here you can see this is the interface of SketchUp and today I am going to use a new extension that is 1001 bit tools. So over here you can see there are many types of staircase that you can make in this but I am just going to model a simple staircase to start with. Okay, so I am just going to start with the dog legged staircase. You also need to check your internet connection in order to make it work smoothly. You can see over here this extension will take a little time to get downloaded and after that you can use it in your SketchUp software. So you can see over here I have defined this uh, staircase in order that uh, the flight is 3 feet 3 inches wide, uh, thread depth is 10 inches and there are other parameters also that I have to set. So you can see whenever I am just clicking on the parameters it is highlighting where it is denoting the A, where it is denoting B, like over here the handle guiding lines offset G. So you can see over here we have this G. Okay, so this is denoting each and everything sophisticatedly. So we have to simply click on build a staircase and click anywhere on the plan and then we have to set the direction. Okay, and you will get the staircase like this. So this was an easy way of modeling the staircase. Now you can simply move it to the plane like I am moving it down over the red axis so I will simply move this whole group to the red axis okay now I can also modify it in case I want to do so and for that what I have to do I have to just enter into the group and then I will simply take a rectangle and then I am just going to use that rectangle to make this a solid surface and this way I can simply modify my staircase wherever it is needed to be done. So this way you can make it solid and now if you want to provide the handrails then it can also be done easily like all you have to do is to simply go to the line draw a line and bring it to the blue axis and over here you can see we have a line similarly we have got a line over here and on each and every staircase over here okay what i need to do next i need to create a circle over here why i'm doing this I am just doing this so that I can get a piped handrail over there. So I am just going to set the radius to 0.5 and you can see I have a circle now. Now I am simply going to draw another circle and then I am going to select all the lines where I want my handrails to be exposed. Now I am using the follow me tool over here and let's click on the surface and you can see we have this handrail ready with us. What I am going to do next I will do the same for this plane so I am just going to draw a circle.
set the radius to 0.5 select all the lines and then use follow me tool. We can do the same for this one. So you can see your staircase is quite ready in just a little amount of time and now if you want then you can also provide the textures like uh, uh, I am going to go for the metallic texture first so I am just going to provide that on our handles so I am going to go for this texture this texture is uh, good in my point of view and then I can also provide it for the other handles like uh, let's provide this to all the handles over here if you want then you can go for any other texture okay and uh, in this case we have not extended it so scaling it is still left so it is very easy we can simply scale it whenever we want okay so I will also show you how you can do that. In case I would have made it a component, then it would have been easier for me to just work with it because working with the component is quite easier. If you will make change at any single place, then it will change automatically at other places. So that is a fork of using the component when you are working with the handrails. But for now that we have not uh, considered this point so I'm just going for the conventional method so it's up to you how you want to model it when you want to use a component when you don't want to use it so it's up to you okay but in case I would have used it earlier then it would have saved me a hell lot of time okay now i am going to provide the tiles over here so for the staircase i would like to use this tile okay so i am just going to provide this tile to my staircase okay in case you want then you can also enter into the component section and you can just color it white So I'm going for the colors and then I can choose a white color or a little lighter color for the staircase would be good so let's uh, go with this one do the same for this portion on the other side too at the bottom
add this surface and add these bottoms. So this way you can easily model your stairs. So guys, that was a simple way of modeling the staircase in uh, SketchUp. Now, if you want to learn such more useful tips and tricks, then you can simply uh, stay tuned with the Civil Center channel. And if you want to join our live online classes and get the professional training, then you can click on the link given in the description. You will find a Google form over there. You have to just fill that Google form and I will personally call you or in case I'm not available, my team will call you and they will guide you how you can join our live online classes. Okay guys, so that was all for today. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.